360 Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial on Excel Studios and in today's tutorial I am actually gonna show you how to make some cool shape burst effects uh, using Trapcode particular uh, plugin from Trapcode and yeah I just made up these two short examples this one this color burst and <clears throat> this one and I guess I won't be showing you how to make this beginning animations uh, I'm just gonna show you how to make these shape bursts uh, from scratch so in order to start I'm gonna make a new composition pressing command N or control N and I'm just gonna press um, whoops uh, I'm gonna make it 1920 1080 Okay, duration doesn't have to be so long. Five seconds is enough. Okay, and then um, I'm just gonna make a background, just a white casual background. And now, what uh, I am gonna show you is how to make this trap code effect at first. So I'm just gonna duplicate this white solid, go to effect, trap code, particular. Okay, and then I'm going to go to particle and set this color to black just in order that we can see the particles in the beginning. Okay, so uh, this is what you're going to see, some boring stuff going on here. And when you go to the emitter tab uh, on the top, you can see the emitter behavior. There is the explosion and the explode which would look something like this. So the thing that happens is it, uh, particles are gonna spawn for one frame only. And if I select continuous, uh, it's gonna create 100 particles per second continuous as the name says. So um, then the next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the velocity up to way more, like at least 2500. And then when you go all the way down to physics and then to air and uh, set the air distance to, let's see, maybe six, we're going to see what uh, this is going to happen. They're going to burst out really fast and then stop immediately. And um, so this is the first way how to make this explosion type thing, okay? So for example, I can set a keyframe here with like way more particles and set a keyframe like two frames further. And this is what you're gonna see. Boom. An explosion of circles. And now uh, in order to show you the second way, I'm just gonna click on that layer, press U and delete those keyframes. Um, I am gonna select the explode option which okay looks cool already and now I'm just gonna tweak some things around so at first um, I'm not gonna use a sphere I'm just gonna use a circle because it's just it's just way more efficient and doesn't take too much of CPU Okay, so we don't want these very small dots floating around. We want that bigger, and uh, yeah, maybe maybe around twenty-five. And I'm just gonna uh, where is it? The feather, 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 feather should be somewhere here. Uh, circle. Oh yeah, sphere, uh, sphere feather. Just turn it down to zero. Um, make them a little smaller and give them a little randomness just so they have different sizes which okay okay cool and the next thing we can do about this is uh, the size change okay so we want them to scale down in the end uh, for this um, just go to this size over life, press this little arrow, and then I usually draw a curve looking somehow around this. 
Okay. And then um, we're gonna see it would take a lot of time to them to this uh, for them to disappear. So uh, I'm just gonna set the life to one second maybe. Okay. Okay. What what's this first frame? What? 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 What is this frame? I don't know. I'm just gonna fucking delete it. Uh, okay, let's see. Spoof. Spoof. Yeah, I think this already looks cool. Um, and now, for example, if you want to bring some colors into it, just go to Particle tab again and Color. I would suggest um, just dragging up the Color Random and you will get a lot of cool random colors, which Sadly, you can't set keyframes at this uh, color random property. I don't know why. I don't fucking know why. Uh, it's uh, this is also why this kind of looks a little bit sloppy. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, because it jumps from color to grayscales. But uh, another option to make this make this animation from uh, color to grayscale would be uh, selecting the grayscale effect from somewhere around there. I don't know where. Uh, I'm not going to show you this now. <clears throat> so now you're maybe wondering how to create some other shapes. We don't want only these circles. And also how to make something directional like this. Going from this point out to there. So uh, in order to do that, I'm just going to show you with the circles again. Um, all the way on the top, uh, at the mid tab, go down to uh, direction, directional. And then just set the Y rotation uh, for however you want it. Um, maybe 90 would be great. So it's going to go right in this direction. Yep. Okay. And what I can tweak, what I can also tweak, which is pretty important, is the direction spread. I would set this up way more. Uh, this is the angle on which those uh, things are gonna explode. Okay. Okay, nice. And um, I'm just gonna set this to uniform again. Zero. Okay. I think this is actually pretty cool. You can rotate this thing and it looks kind of like a sphere made of dots. Okay, so um, next thing I'm going to show you is how to make this whole thing with different shapes. Um, so, so what you could do, for example, to make a square, there's already a preset. Uh, so just go down to the particle tab and instead of our circle, select square. Okay. And if you want to rotate them, rotate them uh, randomly, go down to rotation. And uh, by rotating the set axis, all of the squares are gonna rotate, which I hate about this. And if you change this um, rotation speed set, it also does the same thing. So what I always do, which is kind of sloppy uh, workaround is I set this way down and duplicate it and uh, where is it the seed just make some random seed okay and then I'm gonna rotate this a little bit and then I'm gonna duplicate the, whoops uh, make sure to duplicate the solid not the um, generator not the uh, particular and then I'm gonna set this rotation to something else to and make some random seed and now this is what's gonna happen which uh, kind of looks mm, I don't know there's actually no other possibility to make this in particular uh, random rotation this is not possible which I hate about it um, anyways now, just one more, how to make custom shapes. For example, in this I made triangles 
and uh, well, I can I can either just go and create a new solid. 300 by 300 is cool, just in order to make a composition. This is just a quick way how I always make my compositions. This is always how I make my measured compositions. I don't know why I can just press Control N and uh, select the width here. I don't know why. Uh, don't ask me. So now I'm gonna activate the grid by pressing Control Shift and whoops and hashtag or however this is called this um or apostrophe. I don't know. Um, so you get this grid, and then I'm gonna go to view, snap to grid, and now I'm just gonna create some triangle, okay, and yeah, I can actually mess around with this however I want. For example, uh, let's say this is my triangle, okay? And um, now I want to make an explosion out of this triangle. So I'm going to go to this uh, white solid to my particular, go down to particle type and select texture polygon fill. Then I'm going to go to the texture tab and um, select this black solid comp, which I can actually hide. Whoops, where is it? Okay, layer, black solid comp. Okay, now we got all of these triangles again, and they're all the same rotation once again, but this time, whoops. Okay, and uh, I can actually do the same thing I made with the squares before, just duplicate, 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 and use different seed and different rotation. And um, now, there's also a cool way to let those disappear. I can just go here and deform, change the opacity or scale them down. For example, I'm just going to deform them a little bit. Path, whoops, path, and animate this. Just to get some crazy results. And even make make a uh, whoops make one more keyframe uh, I mean one more anchor point let's see so this is our deformation let's see what this looks like now Whoop. okay and now I'm gonna go to this size over life press it again and oh now we see why this bug happened before because it's gonna scale up at the end again whoops uh, so anyways I'm gonna it's like this press it again so it's not gonna disappear unless I cut it off and uh, what I can do now is I can go to my black solid comp again and go to the scale property and just scale it down however I want it whoops and maybe even rotate it and well now we're gonna get this as a result Poof. Poof. okay and once again I'm gonna set this down duplicate it one two three times maybe and rotate it change the seed do the same thing here Oops, where's the seed? Where's the seed? Here's the seed. Okay. Okay. And now we could, for example, even mix it. I'm going to duplicate this one more time and select circle and draw a size over life graph whoops smooth it <laughs> whoops yeah it kind of looks buggy now um, because of those okay a 
let's see yeah so I personally think this looks pretty cool and it's a pretty cool technique how to make shape bursts uh, in like one minute and well I hope you uh, I hope you liked it and it helped you and I guess I'll see you next time